Okay, so welcome back, study sex uh, fans and uh, curious learners about the way that the body works. I have more questions that were raised uh, during the female sexual pleasure workshop that was held this week, and today's video is going to focus on women and orgasms. So, true to form, I'm going to be answering the questions as they are asked on the index cards, and these are questions that I was not able to get to during the workshop. So the first question we have is, is it possible to be incapable of getting an orgasm? Orgasms are quite lovely, and it, you should be happy to know that less than 10% of the female population has never had an orgasm. Less than 10%. And so the answer to the question is, yes, I guess it is possible. Is it likely? No. So there are a couple different things that are taking place that could cause somebody to have difficulty reaching orgasm. And one would be not knowing what turns the body on, um, not knowing how to get stimulation, not knowing how to communicate what type of stimulation you're looking for, um, or maybe the type of stimulation you're engaging in isn't that uh, helpful for your body. It doesn't work with the way that your body seems to want stimulation. So having difficulties having orgasms can also be a uh, issue in terms of if you're under taking certain types of medication, if you're stressed, stress does reduce the ability to have orgasms, to feel desire, um, but it can also, having an orgasm can be used to uh, get rid of stress. So as long as it's done in a socially appropriate manner, um, orgasms can be really good for your health. Other things that could cause somebody to have a difficult time having an orgasm would be um, we talked about medication, would be feeling uncomfortable with the body or having hang-ups uh, due to the way that you were raised or religious upbringing. Some, um, not saying that religion is bad, but just some religious upbringings kind of talk about sexuality as a negative thing. And that can hold, be like it can hold on to your sense of self and make it difficult for you to really experience pleasure. So, yes, it is possible for someone not to have an orgasm, but it's pretty unlikely. And with a lot of um, home, homework and uh, time invested and the ability to kind of let go of some of the things that may be holding you back, orgasms are definitely a possibility. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and participating in the study sex tour.